Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I'm going to be trying something that was sent to me by Nissin. The company makes cup noodles and other uh, ramen noodle uh, variations. And they contacted me to see if I would do a video about this. I said yes. They sent me a box containing uh, this flavor of cup noodle. And this is me fulfilling my obligation to do the video. And what is this that I'm trying today? This is Cup Noodles Campfire S'mores. Natural, natural and artificial flavor ramen noodles in sauce. And yes, when I opened it, it did have those little uh, micro uh, marshmallows in it after heating it up. They completely dissolved in the uh, mixture of liquids that was in there as well. Uh, so there's no mini marshmallows in there. I did, however, toast up two real uh, s'mores and I put them on as toppings. I'll put them aside here just so you can see the interior. Um, you do fill this up with water to the line and microwave it for three minutes. However, by the time that is done, all the liquid is absorbed in the noodles and in the sauce. So there is no actual liquid part of this at all. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just taste it. I will say when I opened the microwave, there was a little bit of water that came out over the edge and was in the, the microwave plate. Um, it wasn't a whole lot. I just had to do like one swipe to get rid of it. So it's not like I lost a bunch of uh, the water that's supposed to be in here so maybe it might uh, supposed to be a little bit more liquidy than this but i guarantee you i didn't lose a ton of liquid when i uh heat this up this first thing we do is just try it um it doesn't really have a light brown coloration to it it smells like chocolate and noodles It is sweet and salty at the same time. I'm not sure if the the noodles themselves are just salty. Or if there's actual salt in the mix. Let me see. Flour, vegetable oil, sugar, tapioca, salt, let's say. How much salt is in here? Eight. 100 milligrams of sodium that's 35 percent of your daily sodium and i know that's typical for ramen in general but i would think if you're making a sweet variation of it you wouldn't be as salty and as much as this is sweet it's equal parts salty. Let me add one of my s'mores to it. And um, mix that in there, and hopefully, I'll make it a little bit better, sweeter. Okay, so we got half my s'more that I put in there with some cup noodle s'more. Mmm. This is also the the American stereotypical s'more. It has, you know, the blue box graham cracker, the brown package, chocolate bar, and the stay puffed, you know, the the puffed, P-U-F-T puffed um, marshmallows from the, the main three brands that make these things. If you're going to make a s'mores in the United States, uh, eight times out of ten, these three uh, products uh, brands will be used. That's the kind I have here. It's weirdly salty. I'm 
with um, adding actual s'mores to it, of course, it tastes more like a s'more. However, by itself, I don't think I'm a fan. It's just, if you're going to make something, they're calling campfire s'mores. Um, it should taste like a s'mores, or at least a milkshake. If you're Chicago, you know that reference. It doesn't taste disgusting, it's just odd and strange. Uh, you think it's going to be really chocolatey, um, very sweet, and not at all salty, but it's kind of sweet, kind of chocolatey, and way too salty. Okay, there is a little bit of extra chocolate on the bottom. Let me get some of that. In this bite, you can see a little more brown in it because there's a bunch of chocolate that was just on the bottom. Yeah. You get more chocolate when, of course, you get all that chocolate mix mixed in there. Um, this reminds me of like if you took like a really light flavor, maybe like a light uh, Shio type, very clear liquid, uh, very mild in flavor type of ramen, and you like put a couple scoops of like Nesquik into it and mixed it up till it was more thick and um, slightly brown. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Uh, I did see marshmallows in here, so I know there was. Uh, they just quickly melted into everything there. Nothing left an overall marshmallowy flavor. Uh, I don't think there's graham in here at all, because the noodles are just regular enriched flour. There's tapioca starch. There's a little bit of brown sugar, so maybe that they're thinking the brown sugar is going to add some type of... Uh, Graham flavor to it. There's a garlic powder in here. Disodium insulate, which is uh, disodium guanolate, which is kind of like a MSG replacement. Um, gelatin from pork. Honey. Molasses. Onion powder. Okay. It's just weird. There's garlic and onion in here. And you, would, you, would you look at this and say, ooh, campfire s'mores, ramen noodles and sauce. I hope it tastes like garlic and onion. All of their other interesting flavors so far have worked. They had the everything bagel one, they had the pumpkin spice one. Um, there might be another one that I'm forgetting. But this Campfire S'mores one is just weird. I don't know why it's so salty. I don't know why they put garlic and onion into it. It it shouldn't have any... They shouldn't be mostly savory. It might should not should have any savory. Uh, so, would I buy this again? No. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it for free, thank goodness. Uh, but would I try it again? No. I'd rather have a regular s'more. Uh, and I would, if I'm going to have a salty, savory ramen, then I'm going to have a good flavor of salty, savory. Something porky, beefy, or chickeny. Something that's supposed to be good and savory, not s'mores that are supposed to be sweet with some crunch. And this wasn't very, it had some sweetness to it. I'm not going to say it wasn't sweet at all. There was sugar in there. There were marshmallow bits in there. There's some kind of chocolatey powder in there. Uh, but the saltiness and savoriness is just overpowering uh, that other flavor, and I just don't appreciate that very much. Um, so I'm going to give this a thumbs down. 
Campfire S'mores from Nissin Cup Foods. Maybe the next one will be better, hopefully. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Fat Hipster channel. There's going to be a few videos coming out re uh, soon. Hopefully. Let's not get too ahead of myself. Uh, but I was able to get some more time to get some videos done. Uh, as you probably are aware if you've been watching my channel at all. It's been a long time since I've put out many videos. Uh, it's just because work schedule interfering with a uh, video and this is not my job. I don't get paid at all to do it. So it, it, this is just becomes a hobby. It gets put on the back burner. It becomes a lower... Uh, lower on the tier list of uh, importance. There's a word for that that I can't think of right now. Anyway, like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Goodbye.